Hey guys, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews. This is my office in the middle of a massive cleaning spree. And this is the September Bone Box. And I am super, super excited to figure out what's inside. So, let's get to it, huh? Okay, so as y'all saw in my last video, I'm doing both the primary bone box and the ultimate premium, the one with the gold sticker. This is the basic one. So, let's see what's in it. Jesus, I never thought I'd be thwarted by a piece of cardboard. Okay, so first we have the snap and share, no, shoot and share. They're little, take a picture, send it in, get some fancy stuff. I'm really annoyed that my YouTube videos don't count because this is neat. So we have nowhere to put this, hang on. Bunch of white paper. So, oh no. Our little lanyap is a dick bone. Yeah. So, technically speaking, this is a coyote baculum. It's a dick bone. It really is. It usually goes for about $3. So if you're wondering what the price of a fancy, fancy dick bone, about the cost of a Starbucks latte if you're cheap. So, <clears throat> what is a baculum? The baculum is a unique bone found in the penis of most mammals, not humans. The bone aids in copulation when mates have only a short encounter and need to perform quickly. The baculum is sometimes referred to a hillbilly or mountain man toothpick and can be utilized as a coffee stirrer. The largest baculum in the mammal kingdom belongs to the walrus, which can reach a length of 30 inches. And no, I don't know what that is in metric. So, this is a baculum. It's not super long. It has a deep groove down this side, as you can see. The other side has a slight ridge. It has a rounded tip with, oh, my camera's gonna hate this. What looks like a small indent in the end of it. It is a very interesting bone. To be honest, like, even with all the field studies I've done, I've never actually seen one of these before. So that was new. And now all of y'all that have been making jokes about my channel being bones and boners, ta-da. <laughs> so we got ourselves a dick bone and something that is very, very thoroughly bubble wrapped. I do appreciate this part about the bone box. Their shit comes in so many layers of bubble wrap that I've never had something get damaged in transit. We have a bird. Oh, we have a chicken. So this month we got a $29, a $29 chicken skull which I'm going to pull out because I have to see it. This is excellent. I've raised chickens before and never actually seen a skull. I'm a big pansy, I always hated killing them. By the time the ladies got old, I figured they'd earned their retirement, so we never killed any of our old hens. But this incredibly fragile, Jesus, skull is a chicken. This is the skull of something that has shed as much bone weight as possible. My God. Like, I'm almost afraid to touch this, honestly. 
It is an incredibly fine-boned specimen. It's amazing to think that these things are the closest modern dinosaur, essentially. Eh, I mean, you can argue that like an emu or an ostrich is a more modern dinosaur, but chickens size you up sometimes and they look at you like, I could eat that weird little mammal. If you haven't raised chickens, you don't know, but they totally do. It is really cool that they, oh, I'm gonna set that down gently. Come here, manage to, why does this fucker always pick up my palm and never the thing I want it to see? But they manage to keep the, I think it's keratin, the cap that makes the end of the beak. They manage to maintain it while not coming into focus at all, you useless camera. Sorry, I am a technical difficulty. And the other really lovely thing is they included the ossicles, which are the bones that float in the eye socket as part of the eye. This is just amazingly done. If you look into the, the orbital areas, I'm trying to get a good perspective on it. There's a laciness to the bone deep inside the skull. And if you could feel this, these little side struts feel so fragile. I am legitimately terrified holding this that I'm going to break it. But I can give you a very good view into the brain cavity. They've got surprisingly large brains for such little creatures. Again, if you've ever had a chicken, they are either dumb as bricks or terrifyingly smart. I've never met one that was just middling to average. So I'm very carefully reassembling my chicken. Oh, I was way less terrified of the dick stick. We are going to try putting the top in first, and then I'm going to pull the info card and read you their very interesting chicken facts. So, in goes the bone and the ossicles, which I'm also terrified of breaking. God, this is the most fraught with worry I have ever been with one of these. Cannot wait until I get this guy in a display box. And I dropped the bottom. Look, I don't know how I survived doing biology either. I am a train wreck just waiting to happen. I'm just very gently fitting this in here. And there we go, that's in place. Oh Jesus, $30 of stress, that's what this was. So, as always, we get a very nifty info card about chickens. <clears throat> chickens have descended primarily from the red jungle fowl and still share the same scientific name, Gallus Gallus. This means chickens can still interbreed with red jungle fowl. These birds are found mostly in the jungles of India, but since domestication, gallus gallus can be found all over the world. Chickens use their beaks to extract seeds and insects from the ground, but also use them to hunt small reptiles, making them omnivores. Their bills are made of bone covered by a thin keratin sheath called the rampotheca. If you look behind the bill, you will notice long, delicate bones that extend on both sides of the skull under the eye orbit. These bones make up the cheekbones known as the zygomatic process. Some reptiles, fish, and birds, including chickens, possess a circle of bone enclosed within the eye called a sclerotic ring or ossicle. The sclerotic ring is made of smaller segments of bones. It sits inside the cornea and surrounds the lens, pushing it further forward allowing the retina to make a larger image. This is one reason why birds are known for their spectacular vision. Extinct animals that share this same feature include the ichthyosaur and velociraptor. That's chicken. Chickens are super cool. One of my favorite animals that you can keep within city limits. And oh, I swear to God guys, in like six months when I have my own tiny herd of chunky ladies, I will 100% record them and show you my little Velociraptor babies. So, yeah, I yarbled. It happens. 
That was the September Bone Box, standard edition. It costs this much. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but if I point, I will remember to put the price up there for you. And the total value of the objects I received in today's box was roughly $32, which I'm fairly certain is more than the box was. But still, it was a cool box. I'm excited to share it with you. Huzzah, dead things. And as always, if you like what I do, like, subscribe, send it to other people who would be interested in seeing just how terrifyingly fragile a chicken skull is, and come back and watch next month. So, till later. Bye, guys.